In our work in prison ministry, we frequently get letters from the inmates that we work with. I have a, a letter I recently received from one of the men that we've worked with. I won't mention his name. I will mention that uh, we helped baptize him into Christ about four years ago. And uh, we, of course, have supplied him with study materials, made sure that he had a Bible. For a while, we wondered, is he going to make it? Because there wasn't a lot of evidence that he was growing in his faith. But recently, he sent this letter. And I want to read just a, a portion of it to you. He said, talking about his Bible study, It also changed me in a way that I would never have thought possible. For the first time in my life, I get up between 4.45 a.m. and 5 a.m. I get myself ready when I get up and make sure I'm ready for the day. After that, then, I will read my Bible for 20 or 30 minutes in the morning. I could not believe that is happening, but I like it. I'm working on doing better on my habits and who I am around. I know it is through all this that is happening, it is from God. I have more battles to contend with, but I have clarity with this through God. What an amazing letter. What an amazing fellow. In fact, he's got another 20 or so years to go in his sentence but he's learning how to make good use of that time. And that letter from prison has helped me. It's encouraged me. It shows me there are people there that are anxious to do better. And when shown the right way, they will do better. But let me share with you something from another letter from prison. This one, of course, from the Apostle Paul. It's in his letter to the Philippian church. And here it is, and you know this passage in Philippians chapter 4. I'm going to read verses 11 through 13. Paul said, Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And there is an even more encouraging statement, especially that last verse, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. He's talking about Christ, of course, and we found that that's true. Even though we've had habits that needed to change, even though we've needed to develop new habits in our lives, we have found that with Christ's help, we can do it. And these letters from prison, both human letters, but especially inspired letters, are helping me. How about you? What kind of help do you need as you're trying to overcome things of your past or become the person that you know you need to be? There's help in the Word of God. In fact, let's take time and pray about that right now. Dear God, thank you so much for this powerful book, the Bible. Thank you for using people like Paul, who was in prison often. And yet, despite that, he saw clearly what it, what it takes to be victorious. Father, help us to meditate on your word. Help us to make it a part of our lives. Lord, we know we can do all things if you're helping us. So help us, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We know that we're all fighting a battle of one kind or another. And if we can help you as you fight your battles, we'd love to help. We can't do everything, but we'll do what we can because we love you. We really do want to help. So get in touch with us. Let us know and let's work together to, until heaven is our home. May God bless you richly.